often during your project whenever you have built some good machine learning model you need to showcase it with some what if tool given our problem of classification if we try to change any of the values which are here by some controls widget controls then we can find that the response changes hence in this video you will see how to present any machine learning model with i python widgets with interactivity let's see that here for our example we are going to take this heart failure prediction data set from kaggle this data set has a target variable or i can say response variable as heart disease which is a binary variable hence here for the sake of building any model i have built the model random forest classifier you may opt for building any classifier model on this we have x and we have y accordingly this code runs through some transformation and ultimately through some grid search and ultimately we will be having some best parameters and the best score so say suppose these are our best parameter best score and hence in order to capture that object we have an object called best model and i am going to save this best model in a pickle file it is often better that you don't build the model in the notebook itself better it will be that you already have built the model which may be time taking so you build the model create a pickle file and then load that pickle file while calling the your model into your jupyter notebook to begin with over here let us do some imports having done these imports we require now to load that pickle file which we had created earlier now here i am going to load the data you can opt for loading some of the records of the data also if it's too large now after loading the data we require to do the pre processing on it rather we should be creating an object of pre processing because the test observation which we are going to test will also require that object hence let us create that object of pre processing here as you see that i have repeated the same thing here in order to create that object ct which is a column transformer object now the prediction i am going to split it into two parts first of all reading the data from the widget controls and after the data has been read from the widget controls then pre processing the data in order to apply predict function or predict proba function on it so i am going to create two functions one function which will take the data inside and create it a data frame and second as on the created data frame pre process it to predict now over here i want the argument for all the widgets that's why i have specified the column names of all the columns let me talk about this statement which i have added now this statement basically accepts the arguments so it will be accepting the values and after accepting the values it is going to create one data frame this same data frame we should be returning from the function also one more thing i want to tell you about this input test returning the data frame is that i have specified the sequence of columns in this columns list with the same sequence as is there with the original data frame that is original train data frame now we require to create the code for prediction let's do that so here is my function predict on test which i intend to write for my widgets now predict on 
test accepts all those arguments and it is creating a data frame firstly using input underscore test function once this data frame is created we should be first of all pre-processing it using the ct object which we had created earlier so after transforming it now this tst object is ready for prediction so we are going to do predict proba on this that means what the probabilities of y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1 means heart failure is equal to 0 probability and heart failure equal to 1 probabilities will be calculated as you see that there will be two probabilities which will be calculated so our interest basically will be the second probability because the first probability is going to be the probability of no failure and second probability is going to be probability of failure so we should be having the subset of t like this in our expressions hence you see that i have subsetted this p now this square bracket zero is for extracting that value because by default it is an array that's why a single value has to be extracted when i am multiplying that probability with 100 it is going to be percentage so my this statement of bounded float risk sorry float text is going to create a text box which will display the percentage risk for a particular record now over here we require to use this predict on test function on the widgets hence we need to terminate it with display function so now let us create those widgets we require to run this predict on test function in such a way that with the altering of any of the values of age or resting bp or anything else we want this predict on test to run hence we will be specifying predict on test as an argument in the function called widgets.interact now the next arguments for widgets.interactive will be the arguments over here which we have specified and those arguments should be in the form of widgets hence as you see that i have started specifying the widgets over here so for age we have in slider for resting bp in slider wherever integer is applicable please use in slider and wherever float is applicable use float slider also you will find that a checkbox has been used over here for one purpose for the variable which is a boolean one you can use a checkbox or a radio button or a toggle button hence as you see that i have finished specifying all the widgets in this function widgets.interactive for this interactive function to be in action we require to call this with the display function let's do that you can also notice over here that some of the controls are drop downs as we had specified them accordingly so hence as you see that i am changing the value the percentage risk predicted is also changing as I am increasing and decreasing the cholesterol level or something like fasting sugar yes and fasting sugar no right and any other parameter if I modify you will see the prediction getting changed and also don't expect this predicted value to every time change it may not change sometimes it may not change sometimes if modifying that particular value for that part those particular values of observations 
it if it hardly affects the predictions then predictions won't change this is the way you can actually analyze any effect of any probabilistic model or any machine learning model thanks for watching this video do feel free to try these options of ipython widgets with any of the data set of your choice the ipython notebook link will be given in the description box and also the data set link will be given in the description box if you like this video please don't forget to click the like button and also do subscribe to my channel still if you haven't done it thank you